The loss of trust uh, in Big Pharma is substantial and worryingly because of this, the value of vaccination itself has been deeply damaged. Uh, personally, I, I say this absolutely frankly, I will never accept another mRNA vaccine and I am far from alone. So will the Minister agree to full disclosure of the data and an investigation of the facts? And will the Minister also commit to instructing ONS to release the record level data? Or will it take someone like New, Ze New Zealander Barry Young, a whistleblower who has been imprisoned for publishing their record level data uh, to surface his concerns about the COVID vaccine uh, programme in New Zealand? Uh, as we've seen with the Horizon scandal, government must never bury the facts when lives are being lost and futures destroyed. There is no greater betrayal. Uh, so in closing, the foundation of good clinical practice are under threat. Uh, and I, uh, I put that into context with the December 2023 pathology research and practice paper on gene-based COVID-19 vaccines from Rodeza and Parry, and they gave this following warning. Pandemic management requires societal coordination, global orchestration, respect for human rights and defence of ethical principles. Yet some approaches to the COVID-19 pandemic, driven by socio-economic, corporate and political interests, have undermined key pillars of ethical medical science. None of these clinical experts are quacks or conspiracy theorists. And as the government has said so often during the pandemic, we must follow the science. Thank you, Mr. Deputy.